hello to all my lovely subscribers out there and my followers thank you for actually watching my videos so today i'll be showing you guys how to actually make soap with just three ingredients the caustic soda oil and water but first of all i want to show you guys how to carry out your measurements measurement is very important in soap making if you add too much of anything during your soap production your soap is going to be bad so in order to avoid such a thing you have to make sure you carry out accurate measurements now over there is my digital scale then i have placed a container on top of that scale then i have poured my palm kernel oil into that container that scale will tell me the weight of my palm kernel oil and it is reading 452 grams implying that the weight of my palm kernel oil is what 452 grams so i'll be showing you guys an easy method on how to actually carry out accurate measurements with the help of a digital scale and a saponify application so now i want to impute that value of my palm kernel oil or the weight of my palm kernel oil into my saponify app that is my saponify app over there i'm going to impute that weight of my palm kernel oil into my saponify app now the beautiful thing about this app is that this app actually helps you to know the accurate measurement of your caustic soda and water so that you won't end up adding too much of anything so i'm going to type there 452 grams in that application then the app will tell me the quantity of caustic soda and the quantity of water to use against this quantity of oil that i just measured out so that's 452 you can see as i am operating the app there now this app is telling me that i should use 75 grams of caustic soda that lie over there l-y-e means caustic soda then it's also telling me that i should use 171 grams of liquid or water so that is how this app works once you just impute the value of your oil it's going to tell you the quantity of caustic soda and water to use against that oil you can see how easy this is now this app has told me that i should use what 75 grams of caustic soda so i want to measure my caustic soda according to what the app has told me to use i'm going to measure it till i get to 75 grams now the measurement this app gives you is very accurate so if you want to make or produce a soap with accurate measurement then you need to have a digital scale and you need to download this application so right now i have measured my caustic soda and it is reading 75 grams on my digital scale so i'm actually done measuring my caustic soda i've gotten my 75 grams so what this caustic soda weighs is 75 grams so next i want to measure my water and the app told me that i should use 171 grams of water now i'll use this water in dissolving my caustic soda so i'm going to turn my water into this cup when it gets to 171 grams i will stop don't forget too much of water in soap will produce a very soft soap too much of caustic soda in your soap will produce a very harsh soap so in order to make sure you're not adding too much of any ingredient in your soap and you will end up producing a bad soap make use of what a digital scale and a saponify app but if you are finding it difficult understanding this method you can do well by enrolling for my online classes where you'll be taught on how to use this digital scale and the saponify app properly you will be taught how to use the both of them properly so in in my online class you will learn how to make use of what your digital scale and your saponify app together in carrying out measurements so don't forget check the description of this video you will find a link where you can click on once you click on that link it will take you to um, whatsapp where you can join the classes that goes on there on whatsapp on skincare production and even soap production <clears throat> so now i want to dissolve my caustic soda 
but the main purpose of this video is to make you understand the basic chemistry behind soap making which is that soap is made with what just caustic soda oil and water soap is made with what caustic soda oil and water any other ingredient that comes in outside these three ingredients that i have mentioned are called additives they are termed as additives so you can choose to make your soap with just oil caustic soda and water if you choose to add any other thing like the fragrance the calcium the kaolin clay those things are called additives they don't actually affect your soap like if i choose to add calcium carbonate to my soap it implies that i want my soap to feel heavy and i also want my soap to um increase in size that i want my soap to look bigger that is just an additive it just makes your soap feel heavy and feels look bigger that's what has the job of calcium carbonate then if i choose to add kaolin clay in my soap it just shows that i want a soap that has what a strong scent and a soap that can absorb oil and water from the skin maybe if you have an oily skin if you add kaolin clay to absorb that oil out then if i choose to add steric acid during my soap production then it implies that i want to produce a soap that is hard i want to produce a very hard and strong soap that is the job of steric acid then if i choose to add soda ash yes the soda ash if i choose to add the soda ash then it implies that i actually want to improve on the alkalinity of my soap and make sure that my soap can remove easily remove stain from clothes without scrubbing too much if i choose to add fragrance to my soap then it implies that i want my soap to have a good smell or a good scent so that it will attract more customers then if i choose to add something like color to my soap if i choose to add color to my soap then it just shows that i want my soap to look attractive i want my soap to look attractive and beautiful so you can literally make soap without these additives these things only improve the quality of your soap it doesn't mean that you cannot make soap without them you can literally make soap without these additives they are not a must they are just added to improve the quality of your soap because if your soap have a bad smell nobody will want to buy it because you didn't add fragrance so you add fragrance to improve the smell of your soap or the odor of your soap so any other thing you are adding in your soap like the color the calcium carbonate you are adding them for a, for a particular reason it doesn't mean that you cannot make soap without these things you can make soap without them soap like i said before is made with what caustic soda oil and water any other thing that comes in outside those three things are termed as additives those things are called additives they are optional they are not a must they are actually optional you can choose to put it maybe the, you are trying to like maybe produce a particular type of soap. maybe you want your soap to do a particular thing you can now choose to add them during your soap production like i said before the purpose of this video is to help you understand the chemistry behind soap making so that soap making will not look complicated you will not see soap making and be scared i actually want to remove that phobia that fear from new uh, newbies people that are coming into soap making for the first time you can literally make soap with just oil caustic soda and water all you have to do is just make sure you take accurate measurements once your measurement is accurate you are good to go don't forget i have an online class where you can enroll and learn how to take this measurement properly just in case i did not deliver it very well in this video you can choose to enroll for my online class and you learn how to make use of your digital scale with your saponify application you will learn how to use the two of them together very well with the two of them you can actually carry out accurate measurements so that you don't end up adding too much of anything too much of caustic soda will produce a very harsh soap a soap that peels the skin or that gives you injuries 
too much of water will produce a very soft soap and once your soap is soft it will take a very long time to become hard a soft soap takes a longer time to become hard and a soft soap finishes quickly so too much of water is a problem too much of caustic soda is a problem so your measurement has to be accurate so you check the description of this video you will find a link where you can click on and to take you to whatsapp where you can join my online classes where i teach people how to make soap make body cream make the shampoo the liquid soap a lot of things you will learn there when you join so don't forget like i said before the purpose of this video is to teach you how to make soap with only the basic ingredients which are the oil caustic soda and your water so i'm going to so i'm going to make this soap with just oil caustic soda and water then you will see how the soap behaves you will see how it forms just to prove that soap can be literally made with just what oil caustic soda and water so after 24 hours my soap is hard I'm going to remove it from this soap mold then we'll test it and see how this soap forms we want to see the quality of this soap don't for forget that this soap does not have fragrance it does not have color it does not have any other extra thing that will beautify it or modify it this is just a very natural soap with what oil caustic soda and water and don't forget why i'm making this video the purpose of this video is to teach you the chemistry behind soap making so that you know that soap making is not as complicated as others make it look like there are some people videos you go and watch and they make soap making look so complicated but i want to just break it down and show you that soap making is very easy it's not difficult don't be scared of these chemicals don't have this phobia where you can't actually touch chemicals you don't want to make soap you are scared soap making is very easy you can see the result of my soap that has been made with just three ingredients so i'm going to cut this soap then test it with water and let's see how this soap forms or leathers let's see the leather that this soap will produce soap making is not hard it's as simple as a b c it's as simple as what a b c it's not hard there's no hard there's nothing hard in soap making so you can see this foam is this soap is actually producing a lot of leather it is foaming very well so this is a very good production okay so thank you all for watching this video thank you for watching this video don't forget to like to share and to subscribe to the channel and also check the description of this video for the link where you can join my online classes where i teach soap making goodbye and see you next time on our next video